Yowza, yowza, yowza. You wonder what would have happened if it had been Trump against Bernie. Because those were two outsiders and everybody in the country wanted rid of anything having to do with the standard way of doing things. But it didn't turn out like that because the Democrats worked to make sure that uh, Hillary got the nod. It's just so sad that now it's almost a year after Trump's been elected and we're still fighting about what the story was in the election. Did Trump collude with the Russians? No, I don't think he's that bright. But he surrounded himself with a couple of people, the uh, Manafort guy and uh, the guy who was his secretary of, of uh, defense or whatever. They, they were both taking money from the Russians. Who takes money from the Russians? For any reason. And then you got Hillary, and they've ungagged an FBI informant, Hillary, who was, you know, was signed off on selling uranium to the Russians. Who would do that? There is so much graft in the swamp that it is just so sad that we're still fighting about it a year later when we've got so many things that need to be taken care of. And then I shouted out, who killed the Kennedys? And we still don't really know. There's thousands and thousands and thousands of pages involved there. And uh, not all of them were released because the intelligence divisions of our country didn't want to let those pieces of information out. Why? Most of the people that were involved in those investigations are dead. And if they're not dead, they're, they're feeble in, in, in a rest home somewhere. What didn't they want us to know? I think probably that they screwed up really big, big time. Or bigly, as our president says. And they didn't want to show that they were incompetent. I think that's why we didn't get all of the information about the Kennedy assassination. So all the people who say, you know, it was Castro or the mob or he was going to break up the banking system and he had to be killed by the Illuminati or he was about to press for information on Roswell and Area 51 and he had to be killed. Eh, we'll never know. But they'll just keep making stories. Because that's what we do here in America. By God, if there's a conspiracy, we're going to build it. <sighs> but here we are on a Halloween weekend. Yes, it's a Halloween weekend where we get to dress up and pretend we're someone we're not. Very much like, a, a say, a piece of management puts on a tie and pretends that they're in charge. But the, oh, the, the thing to remember... Because you're, we are going to parties all weekend. I mean, that's just a fact. Halloween is like Tuesday, and then we're going to have parties this weekend. If you are going to be partying, remember, you're wearing a super, a super person costume. Doesn't mean you can drink in a super way. Don't drink and drive. The militia is going to be out this weekend. They are. They're going to be looking for people who are slightly or heavily inebriated. Drink and stay put. Make them fix you breakfast in the morning. You also don't want to, you know, hit a station wagon full of nuns and end up in jail. Just please don't drink and drive. Enjoy this weekend because it's the last weekend of October. When we when we get together again, it will be November. And we'll have gone by November 4th when the Antifa people are supposedly going to start civil war here in this country. There's a new conspiracy theory, in case you haven't heard that one. So let us enjoy what we've got left, because 2018 is just around the corner, and hopefully it'll be a better year. It will be a stranger one, without a doubt, but it'll be a better year. So let's get to it. Pigging out, porking out, freaking out, and dressing up. 
because it is a Halloween weekend, and you got to, 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 got